Welcome to the second devlog of Project E. So if you watch my previous devlog, you already know I'm working on a 2D fighting game inspired by Little Fighter 2. And the first thing I wanted to do in order to start this project was to implement a 3-hit combo system. And as always, we have our trusty friend Zero here to help. Without further ado, let me explain how I almost went insane trying to implement a simple 3-hit combo system. Simple in theory, that is. I began by slicing up and renaming each one of the character's combo attack sprites. The three attacks look like this. Attack 1, Attack 2, and Attack 3. After slicing the sprites, I created the animations. And this isn't supposed to happen. It didn't take me long to figure out that the sprite's pivot point was to blame for this. Notice how the pivot points are in different positions here. In my case, the pivot points should all be in the same position. So I fixed the pivot points for the first attack just to check if I'm doing things properly. And it was working perfectly. So I fixed the other two animations and now they also work properly. And then, before I even began implementing the combo system, the game was already going crazy. I didn't even know where to begin looking for this problem, but the solution was obvious, the animation system. And after tweaking some things in the animation system, I ended up breaking more things. Not only did the animation problem remain, I also created a new problem, inconsistent jump height. AGAIN! But I quickly fixed the jump height problem, and the animation problem suddenly disappeared. And every programmer knows what to do when their code is working. Don't touch it. To this day, I don't know where the animation problem came from. And I guess we'll never know. Anyway, then I started creating the melee system, but I had a problem. I couldn't find any tutorial with the combo system that I wanted. This tutorial had a combo system similar to what I wanted. After following the tutorial, only the first attack would play. Then I thought, maybe I'm not pressing the button hard enough, but the combo still wasn't working. Then I decided to take a break and do some research, and I found this fighting game demo. It was basically the system I wanted to start my game with. I immediately started downloading the project to try it out, except it wasn't a project, it was the game. So then I returned to my own game, and guess what? The animation problem had returned! This time with the attack animation! So I started debugging again, and eventually I found out where the problem was. And all it needed was one line of code. And the 3 hit combo system was here. And I also added a couple of things, like health, damage, hurt, and death animations. Hit stop, and damage flash. And now we can actually damage other players. It looks pretty cool in my opinion. That's one task down. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. After implementing the combo system for my game, I found these articles on IndieWatch where they explain some things you need to know when making a fighting game. Even though I already knew most of the things they mentioned in the article, it did highlight some things I wasn't aware of. Anyway dudes, that's all for today. Make sure to watch this video if you want to get an idea of what this game will look like in the future. Also, follow me on Twitter at TechProgram if you haven't already. I know I'm not that active, but I'm trying my best. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, because I have another chocolate meal for you. My next video will be a 500 sub special, so uh, stick around for that. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next one. And as always, stay awesome.